Uh, have you ever thought about what it means to have a right to treatment in a country like India? A nation of over a billion, spanning various cultures, languages, and socioeconomic statuses, India presents a unique challenge when it comes to health care. The right to treatment as an idea is simple enough. It states that every individual, regardless of their circumstances, has the right to access quality health care services. But in practice, it's a complex web of policies, resources, and socio-cultural factors. In a developing country like India, with its wide health care disparities, ensuring that this right is upheld for every citizen is no small feat. It requires not just robust policies and adequate resources, but also a deep understanding of the diverse needs of its population. So let's start this journey by exploring the question of the right to treatment. Today we delve into the challenges and successes of the right to treatment in India. In essence, the right to treatment means that every citizen should have access to quality health care. Now let's delve deeper into this concept. The right to treatment is not just about getting medical attention when you're ill. It's about having the ability to access health care services regardless of your social, economic, or geographical standing. It's about ensuring that every citizen, from the bustling city center to the remote rural areas, has a fair shot at leading a healthy life. This concept is deeply rooted in the principles of human rights. Just as every individual has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, they also have the right to the highest attainable standard of health. This principle is recognized globally and is enshrined in numerous international human rights treaties. But what does this mean for healthcare providers and policymakers? Well, it means they have a responsibility a duty even to ensure this right is upheld. It's their job to provide the necessary services, facilities, goods, and conditions that contribute to the realization of this right. This could mean anything from constructing new hospitals and clinics to ensuring that medical supplies are available and affordable, to implementing policies that address the social determinants of health. Yet it's not just about availability. Quality of care is another crucial aspect of the right to treatment. It's not enough to simply have a hospital nearby. The care provided must be scientifically and medically appropriate and of good quality. In other words, it's about having access to health care that is effective, safe, patient-centered, timely, efficient, and equitable. And let's not forget about non-discrimination. The right to treatment also means that healthcare must be accessible to all without discrimination. This includes the poor, the marginalized, and those living in remote areas. It's about ensuring that everyone, regardless of their circumstances, has an equal opportunity to enjoy the highest possible standard of health. However, the reality of implementing this right in a country as vast and diverse as India is far from simple. Consider the case of rural India, where the majority of the population still lives. It's a place of diverse cultures and traditions, a place where life is closely tied to the rhythm of the seasons. But beneath this rustic charm, there lies a significant challenge, providing quality health care to the teeming millions. The first hurdle is infrastructure. Many villages lack basic amenities like clean drinking water and sanitation, let alone health centers. The few health facilities that do exist often grapple with inadequate equipment, irregular power supply, and lack of connectivity to larger towns and cities. This makes it difficult to provide timely and effective treatment, and in some cases, it's a matter of life and death. The second challenge is a shortage of healthcare professionals. It's a stark reality that many rural areas face. For every 10,000 people in rural India, there's only one doctor available. This shortage is further exacerbated by the fact that most doctors prefer to work in urban areas where they can earn more and have better access to resources and professional development opportunities. Then we have the financial constraints. Despite government initiatives to provide free or subsidized health care, many rural families still struggle to afford treatment. High medical costs combined with loss of income during illness can push families into a cycle of debt and poverty. It's not all gloom and doom, though. While these challenges are formidable, they're not insurmountable. The government, non-governmental organizations, and even individuals are stepping up, creating innovative solutions to bridge the healthcare gap in rural India. 
From mobile health clinics to telemedicine, from training local villagers as health workers to community-funded health insurance schemes, these initiatives are making a difference. Yet despite these challenges, there are also stories of success and innovation. These stories provide hope, reminding us that while the road to universal health care is long and arduous, with collective effort and determination, it is indeed possible to traverse. One such success story lies in the realm of community health initiatives. Focusing our lens on rural India, it's inspiring to see how community health initiatives have been instrumental in improving access to health care and upholding the right to treatment. These initiatives are a testament to the power of collective action and the indomitable spirit of the communities involved. One inspiring example is the incredible transformation brought about by the accredited social health activists known as ASHA workers. These tireless women, often from the very communities they serve, act as a bridge between the healthcare system and rural populations. They have been successful in ensuring that even the most remote corners of the country are reached with vital health services. Another significant initiative is the Mobile Medical Units, or MMUs. These are essentially hospitals on wheels, which travel to remote areas, offering diagnosis and treatment right at the doorstep of those who need it most. They have played a crucial role in healthcare provision, especially in areas where medical facilities are scarce. In addition, the establishment of community health centers, or CHEs, has been a game changer. These centers, staffed by local health professionals, provide a range of services from maternal and child health care to disease prevention and control. They have not only improved access to health care services, but also empowered local communities to take charge of their own health. In the face of adversity, these community health initiatives have shown resilience, adaptability, and a deep commitment to ensuring the right to treatment for all. They have proven that it is possible to overcome geographical barriers, resource constraints, and sociocultural challenges to make healthcare accessible and affordable. In essence, these initiatives have shown us that when communities come together, they can create an environment where everyone has the right to treatment and the opportunity to lead a healthy life. They are a beacon of hope, illuminating the path towards a more equitable healthcare system in India. These initiatives demonstrate that despite the challenges, the right to treatment can be upheld in India. So where does India stand today in terms of the right to treatment? As we navigate the landscape of healthcare in India, we see a picture that is both complex and hopeful. We've journeyed through the challenges and successes, and it's time to look at the road ahead. The right to treatment is a fundamental human right, an inherent part of our dignity and well-being. In India, this right is still a dream for many, especially those residing in the remote corners of the country. However, the winds of change are blowing and the nation is striving to turn this dream into a reality. Today, India has seen significant advancements in healthcare infrastructure and policies. New hospitals and clinics are sprouting up even in the most remote regions, bringing healthcare closer to those who need it the most. The government is launching innovative healthcare schemes and policies with an aim to ensure that no citizen is left behind in the journey towards health and wellness. However, the journey is not without its obstacles. Disparities in access to quality healthcare persist. Many rural areas still grapple with a shortage of healthcare professionals and facilities. The burden of out-of-pocket expenses continues to weigh heavily on the common man. And yet despite these challenges, progress is being made. Community health initiatives are making a difference, bringing healthcare to the doorsteps of those who need it most. Telemedicine is revolutionizing the way healthcare is delivered, bridging the gap between urban and rural areas. Innovations in technology are paving the way for a more efficient, accessible, and affordable healthcare system. The road ahead may be long and winding, but the destination is clear. A future where every citizen, regardless of their geographical location or economic status, has access to quality health care. A future where the right to treatment is not just a constitutional promise, but a lived reality for all. The journey towards realizing the right to treatment in India is ongoing, but the successes we've seen hold promise for a healthier future. To wrap it up, the right to treatment is not just about health care. It's a cornerstone of human dignity, a pillar of social justice, and a key driver of national development. 
It's about acknowledging that every person, regardless of their social standing or geographical location, deserves access to quality health care. The right to treatment is a reflection of a society that values its citizens and acknowledges their fundamental rights. It's also about social justice. It levels the playing field by ensuring that everyone, irrespective of their socioeconomic status, can access the same level of health care. This right fosters a sense of fairness and equality in society, promoting social cohesion and harmony. Moreover, the right to treatment fuels national development. A healthy population is a productive population. It's the backbone of a vibrant, thriving economy. As such, the right to treatment isn't just a moral imperative, it's an economic one as well. The right to treatment is a goal worth striving for. And as we've seen, the journey towards this goal in India is both challenging and inspiring.